Hello and welcome back to game 3 between Eddie and Viper. Viper 2-0 in the lead, he's won two games and we've seen Eddie before um, play a lot of games against Dao and win a lot of games, but right now he's uh, not playing really good against the Viper. Eddie in this time in grey as the Byzantines and Viper playing in yellow as the Mayans. Interesting. Now, uh, I think Byzantines very versatile, safe, good monk rush, could see it, good trash, but uh, the Mayans just too strong probably. And I wouldn't be surprised if Viper went, went aggressive on this map because, or in this game, because he has been playing defense for two times now. Uh, Eddie's been pushing. We might see Viper push out now, get the castle up, uh, go aggressive, plumed arches, maybe fast imp. And then uh, just go over Eddie. Eddie on the other hand might go aggressive himself again. Go Bone Crush, go Bone TC and fast him uh, Byzantines. It is an option. He can get elite skirmishes out, which are a lot of cheaper, of course. But I haven't seen this game, so I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, there's a lot of options, and we're going for the maps right now. You can see Eddie's main gold a little bit to the front. We're on the side here. Second gold is outside. Third gold is inside his base on the uh, very safe. Extra berries here, and we have, let's see, main stone for him. A little bit trapped into the forest, but it's fine. Second stone just outside the walls. It's okay for him. He's got three deer inside. He's got, let's see, where's the boars for him? Mm, I'm looking for them. He got one boar here with the second boar for Eddie. Don't see it right now. Uh, it's there on the back behind the walls. He's going to find it, going to see it for sure. Um, all in all, pretty good map for Eddie. Not the, uh, the best, but not the worst either. The main gold may be a little bit uh, unpleasant, but three deer close to his base, close to the TC. Very awesome for him. So he should be fine, should get up quite fast, and let's see if he's going monks or anything else. We have an extra gold on the left hand side. We have an extra gold on the right hand side, a little bit closer to Viper maybe. It doesn't really matter. And then we have Viper space at the Mayans. Of course, Mayans, very, very strong Civ. Second gold is inside for him. He's got a lot of space in back. He as well got three. Deer very close to the TC. Main gold a little bit trapped on the, on the edge of the map and uh, an annoying tree here. Might fit a mining camp just here to have the villages around there or on the other side. We should be fine. Second boar is inside as well. I think the, mm, the first boar probably was outside. He's deleted a piece of all. Main stone to the front. That's not too nice. And a second stone as well. He wants to get a castle up quite soon. So he needs to make sure to get enough stone early uh, to get the castle and to protect the stone actually. Because mains without stone, it's really hard. Could go Eagle Warriors of course, but uh, even then you need Eldorado. You need a castle. Uh, let's see what's going to happen. Viper is going to revolt this. And let's get a second gold or third gold outside. We saw the second gold inside. So gold wise viper really really better map stone not so much relics viper got too close to himself he's got a third one close to him that one rather in between the two players and this one as well so when it comes to relics viper the advantage let's see if he's going to take them there's an extra stone on the left side which he could take if eddie couldn't see it and this might help him if eddie is going really really aggressive but let's see what's going to happen we're going faster right now because uh, we're just waiting for players to go up to uh, Castle Age. Eddie got three deer in. Mm, got two deer in. Sorry, three on villages on it. Now it's going to be third deer. Should split the villages maybe a little bit more on the deer. It's, you know, they're uh, gathered faster. And But I'm not sure. Maybe someone can calculate that or did already. Now it's four on the deer and getting a few more farms. He's going for a castle. Interesting. Or maybe or at least for stone. Mm, it indicates to me that he's going for a castle sooner or later. And Viper should be in stone as well. Let's see, is he going? Main stone, not yet. Viper up to field age without stone. Interesting. So not going for a castle, not going aggressive in that regard. But most likely then three TCs. And maybe go faster in period age and get Eagle Warriors. Might be an option. Maybe he's going monks as well. Could be an option too. But no barracks either. So it doesn't look like Siege and uh, like Monk and Eagles, which is the standard Aztecs play. Could do use the Mayans as well. Instead, market coming up and blacks with interesting positions, going for wall of here, wall of there. Smart play here. Eddie going with market blacksmith as well. It's expected as he is in stone, and he will have enough stone for a castle. We might even see a castle drop right on, on uh, Eddie's on Viper's map. And Eddie cannot see the stone, so he doesn't know that uh, those stones are forward. He can see the extra stone, he can see the extra gold. Maybe even thinks, um, thinks that is Viper's second stone here. He knows to race, now he can see. And there's still the option to go aggressive and go forward with the villagers. Eddie up to castle age, Viper first, but uh, Eddie one more villager. Yeah, there we go. And five villagers on gold, this one is running a little bit too much. 
much. Two villagers forward, close to the walls, maybe wants to get the monastery up there. Uh, Barry's run out, gold mining came in for Eddie. Let's see, Viper Barracks is up actually, and double barracks even. Interesting. We're gonna see the Eagle Warrior approach, we're gonna see monasteries come up forward. There's the villager, and there's the monastery, second villager is coming up. And while Eddie has enough stone for a castle and getting a monastery inside, uh, Viper uh, getting double Eagle Warrior production. A very smart play, I think, here because Byzantines most likely is going to Monk Rush. Now Eddie going out to the villagers and he wants to get a forward castle. Viper saw the villagers, he knows the castle will come up. And there we go, four Eagle Warriors uh, gonna find the wills there. Monastery coming up first, Viper maybe Palisade scouting or doing something similar. Now going out to the five eagles and the monk to have line of sight. Towns under the main stone, smart play. And he can see one villager still there, he can see a monk here. Mm, losing one eagle doesn't really matter. Siege workshop coming up forward, can Viper see it? Yeah, Viper spotted it. Uh, siege workshop will come up, but the villagers are pretty much trapped because a lot of eagle warriors in play. There's two more coming out. Viper will have four relics at least, maybe five. And these villagers will go down because the palisade won't stand too long. Let's see, Viper needs to pay attention here. But TC is up for him, second, uh, second TC for him, third TC not up yet, doesn't need it for now. Mm, now the village is going, building a little bit more space, going for a house, well Viper is housed, uh, Eddie won't be housed too fast. Eddie a lot of stone, he wants to get a castle up but he can't because there is uh, the villagers are trapped inside, the eagle warriors are standing around, siege workshop coming up for Viper and maybe with the monk he could convert one two villagers. Now trying to build a castle, but uh, Viper very smart, very fast, saw it in time, sending a villager, sending uh, eagle warriors, this is not good for Eddie, Eddie stonewalling himself again, the manganel will go down, siege workshop is up, manganel hit on those villagers will be deadly, and doesn't look good for Eddie, the failed castle uh, drop here will cost him a lot, also a lot of uh, idle villagers on the main goal, that's not good for him. We have 35 uh, villagers, that's 10 idols. Really, really not good for him. Viper with full map control at this point. Mm, there's a few monks. Viper not microing here. He's gonna lose a few eagles, but the monastery will go down eventually. And Eddie calling GG at this point. That's amazing. Nice play from Viper. He played smart, very smart here. Against the upcoming monks and even against the castle drop that he didn't know, of course. He is th went double barracks and uh, taking full map control. Take the relics. Uh, stop the castle push, going on stone uh, for himself. Very, very good game from the Viper. Eddie uh, trying to go real aggressive but failed this time. Could have worked, but um, like this, Viper making sure that Eddie cannot get any map control and winning this game in only 21 minutes. A very short game, but I hope you enjoyed it. And see ya in the last game. See ya in game 4. GG.